Hi guys, I hope all is well. I have like three videos I have to film. I know I always point out, excuse the background. Seriously guys, excuse the background, please. Like look at all of that. I know it's a lot going on. I am basically in the process of resigning from the school system. Um, I'm not bashing anyone. I'm not pointing fingers. I'm not talking about it. Um, but it's just a combination of things. And for my own sanity and mental health, I am resigning. So I, you know, am taking a few days off and I have, I'm in the search of a different field of work. So I'll just leave it at that. Um, so with that being said, I did take some of my personal belongings from the classroom and I have that there and I'm kind of waiting to see what I'm going to do with it depending on like my next job. So yeah, I have my printer here and stuff. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Um, so please just excuse the messy background. Yeah. Anyways, um let's get right into my college here. So I did try filming my K's haul a few days back. I was so exhausted and I was like still trying to figure out what I was doing and it was a long day and I was just so exhausted. You could hear it, you could see it in my voice and I didn't want to upload that. So I'm just going to film my videos now. I'm actually about to go into an interview. Um, I'm going to leave the house in like half an hour. So I have a little bit of time and that's why I'm filming now. So yeah, let's hop right in. This is my K's order for when she had 25% off. I didn't go too crazy, but I did want to partake since it's such a good deal and I love K's um, wax. So um, I just got some clamshells. I didn't get um, anything more. So first let's do samples. I love when she does samples because she does like a couple in each bag. So it's like a great way to sample out scents rather than it just being like one little piece. But I appreciate samples nonetheless. So this first one here is in turquoise. Turquoise is a very, very strong, clean, aquatic -y scent. I don't know the exact notes, but it's really, really nice if you like clean, strong scents. It's not like cleaner clean, it's like aquatic. There's something else in there. I don't know, like a moss or something. I don't, I don't know even what I'm saying, but that is really nice if you like clean aquatic -y scents. Here we have Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. I like Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. Yeah, it's like a feminine body care scent, in my opinion. Yeah, it's just like, um, like a pretty feminine scent. This is like a bathroom or a bedroom scent for me. And then last but not least is library. I've never tried a library scent before. So it's so funny because this smells more to me like an incense shop or something. By the way, I have smelled these already. So that's why I'm able to like give you how I feel about it right away. Yeah, it smells like an incense patchouli, a shop that has that. I don't know. Am I the only one that gets that? Maybe it's just, I don't know. But yeah, she gave three nice size shapes there. So I'm really happy about that. Okay, everything was wrapped perfectly. Look at this cutest tissue paper. It was like wrapped over like this and there's a little sticker that says, hi Megan. 
adorable. Here is her business card. She is on Facebook. Um, and her, her website is kscentedmelts.com. Carla Meredith is the owner. So let's just hop right into it. I've made a mess of everything. It's all just in here. I did date it, so that's why. First, we have pumpkin sugar donuts. I think most of these are new to me. I just wanted to try some more scents from her. She has so many different scents that she offers, and she offers basically year-round which I really, really love because a lot of um, wax companies do like um, RTSs or pre-orders in K, you can just order whenever you want. Um, unless it's changed, but I'm almost positive you can order whenever you want, which is awesome because if you have a scent you love, get it whenever you want, whenever you run out. Okay, pumpkin sugar donuts is the Bath & Body Works type. Pumpkin donuts rolled in sugar and spice. I don't think I've ever had the pumpkin sugar donut um, candle before. It's so good though. You definitely get cinnamon, but you get like a pumpkin spice as well. So it's like a pumpkin spice with cinnamon. It's really nice. I love pumpkin cinnamon scents. So this is right up my alley. It was like, that looks like cat ears. Okay, next is Santa's pajamas. And she also did just come out with like a bunch of new scents and um, combinations. So I did wanna get some of those as well. So I believe this was from, she had this one last year and maybe she brought it back. I could be wrong though, but I think I've seen this before. Maybe I bought it, maybe it's in my collection. See, I don't even know, I have so much wax, okay. Pine cones, snickerdoodle, and autumn flannel. Maybe it's always on her site. Can somebody tell me? Because I just don't know. Oh my gosh, it's so good though. It's so good. I love the pine cones oil. I know a lot of people really like Kay's pine cones. It's really good, but this mixed with the flannel, and I'm not a huge like flannel lover in like the scent, this is so good. I don't get a lot of snickerdoodle, I will say that, but the flannel mixed with the pine cones is such a good scent. It is like not pungent. It's like a perfect mixture of like a, I don't even know how to describe the pine cone oil. It's just, if you like, if you like, I don't know. It's not pine, it's not balsam. I don't know, maybe like a, an autumn wreath. Like if you like that type of scent, you would like this. I, I don't really know how to explain it, but it is so good. So I would highly recommend trying Santa's pajamas. It's not spicy, it's not like tree scented. It's like the most perfect fall winter scent. It's so good. Next, this is a new one, Harvest Funnel Cakes. This is apples, cranberries, orange peel, funnel cakes, and spice. That sounded so good to me with all the different fruits. Yeah, so you get like the apples, cranberries, and orange. It's like sweet, sweet, fruity, like um, fall fruits. Yeah. It's really nice. I don't get a lot of spice or funnel cakes. I get mainly like the cranberries and the apple, but it's really, really nice. Monkey bread. This is baked bread with gooey cinnamon sugar and vanilla. This one's always on the site. I just never have tried it. So this is like a straight up cinnamon. So if you don't like cinnamon, of course, it literally says cinnamon in the description but it's kind of like a red hot cinnamon. Yeah, it's really strong on the cinnamon. Um, so hopefully I get some of that bread note in there. Next is Witch's Brew. So this is a very, 
This is a scent that I just don't really like. And I never, ever, ever order wax that I just straight up don't like. Like, I don't think it's ever happened. Like, I've had scents that I'm like, eh, about. This is something that I just wasn't expecting. So it's a Yankee type, which I've never smelled before, but it's cedarwood, cinnamon, and patchouli. So typically I would think that's a scent on my alley. I like patchouli scents, I like cinnamon. Cedarwood, I don't have a lot of experience with, but I just thought it would be like a woodsy scent. Um, and I thought it would be a great scent for like a cold night, right? It smells like raw tobacco to me like a raw, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know if I've ever smelled raw tobacco before, but like, this is what I think it would smell like. I don't know why though, I don't know why. It smells like a like a, a raw cigar or like, yeah, like raw tobacco to me. And I don't know why. I'm trying to figure it out. I've been trying to figure it out. And it's just, is it the cedar wood? Is it her patchouli oil? I don't know. I think I've tried her patchouli oil before though. Zephelyn, I don't smell any cinnamon in here. I think it's the cedar wood, but I, I don't, maybe it's the patchouli, I don't know, but I just really don't like it. And I'm really sad about it. It's just not something I like. I don't know. I'm sure some other people like it though. Next is Goblin It Up, Caramelized Pralines, Pumpkin Souffle, and Cornbread. I believe this is one of the new scents. Could be wrong, I don't know. So good. I really like her Pumpkin Souffle oil. It's really nice, it's not too spicy. It's like a nice creamy pumpkin. And then you get the Caramelized Pralines, it's really nice. I don't get too much cornbread, but I'm sure it's gonna come out. I really like this one for fall. Next is berry topped waffles. I know this is a really popular one. Um, this one's always on the site. It's mixed berry compote waffles and whipped cream. So when I smell this one, it's pretty light still. It's pretty light. It smells like a strawberry pound cake to me, but it's pretty light. So hopefully after sitting for a while, it'll get stronger. Sometimes berry scents tend to be lighter. Next is Fall Farmhouse. This is Fallen Leaves, Crackling Fire, and Cinnamon. I love me some fall scents. They are my favorite and I don't need any more, but I just love fall scents. They're just so good and cozy. Yeah, so this is definitely like a crackling fire. You get the wood, you get the like the smokiness. You get the cinnamon for sure and you get the leaves. Yeah. This is a very strong cinnamon woodsy fire type scent for fall, far fall farmhouse. If you like those type of scents, it's really, really good. All right, I gotta hurry up guys. And I'm a mess here. Um, okay, next is Fall Bounty, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Zucchini Bread, and Peanut Brittle. I can't tell you if this is new or not. I don't think it is, but, and I think I've had it before, but it's really, really good. It's so good. Her Pumpkin Pecan Waffles is really good. It's, it's one of the better ones I've smelled. It's really creamy. Um, they all kind of smell similar, but this one smells really good to me. Maybe, I think it's a mixture with the zucchini bread though. I've noticed pumpkin pecan waffles mixed with zucchini bread makes it so good. Oh, it's so good. So good. Okay, next is another new one. Lemon cello cream, lemon bergamot, sugar cake, and honey butter. So this is not something that I will melt now. I won't melt any of these now, to be honest. I have so much wax to melt that this is all gonna sit for like at least a year probably. It's really good though. It's like a lemon cello creamy sorbet. It's so good. And you do get a little of like lemon cake in that too. It's really, really good. It's not a cleaner lemon at all. 
Lego of my eggnog. This is another new one. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, pumpkin caramel, and eggnog. So typically I don't get anything with caramel in it. It's It just comes off too weird. It comes off like headache inducing to me. So I took a risk, but it's good. I get definitely like a cinnamon in here. It could be the eggnog oil. I definitely get a cinnamon, but I get like a creamy pumpkin pum waffle, a cinnamony eggnog creaminess, and then a little bit of pumpkin. I don't get like a lot of caramel, so that's good. All right, four more, four more. Okay, we have Haddonfield. I was so excited for this one. This one is Sandalwood Vanilla, Pumpkin Souffle, and Fallen Leaves. This is one of her new scents. Um, it's really good. So you definitely, I get the Sandalwood Vanilla now. I didn't get it before. Um, pumpkin Souffle, again, I love it. I love it. And you get the leaves. It is such a good one. And look, it's tie-dye. It's so pretty. I really like that in field. I like fall scents. I really recommend. Blue Christmas. This is balsam cedar, blue sugar, and palo santo. Is this a new one? I believe it is. Blue Christmas. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. If you like blue sugar and cedar, I mean, balsam scents, this is so good. It's not too heavy on the balsam, but it's there for sure. I mean, you're gonna get balsam in this, but like it's toned down from the blue sugar. It's so, so good. I love this one. All right, Bewitched. This is carrot and zucchini bread, spiced apple, and toasted mallow. I believe this one's on all year. I believe. So I'm mainly getting like the apple and the mallow, I think. I'm not really getting a lot of like zucchini bread, but I'm gonna let, this one's gonna sit because, I mean, they're all sitting, but this one I think is gonna get stronger. And last but not least, this is a new one as well. This is on Blueberry Hill, vanilla butter fudge, blueberry cobbler, and zucchini bread. So I'm kind of weird about blueberry. I know some other people are as well. Sometimes it comes off like it smells like vomit to me. You know, like our noses are weird. I don't know what to say, but it's a little bit of that blueberry nature. It smells like a blueberry dum-dum to me, but when I just briefly smell it, it I get that slight, slight scent of, yeah. So that's everything I got from Kay's. I really, really love Kay's wax melts. I have had the best performance and luck with her wax. I never have any issues. The wax lasts over a day in my warmers. Um, I have six full-size warmers downstairs and I put one in each warmer and it just blows through my whole house. It is amazing. Um, she has so many scents and she's coming out with new ones all the time. So I highly recommend Kay's. I think her wax is at a great price point. Um, she offers clamshells. If you wanna make your own custom, you can um, in, in the chunk sizes. And you can also just order like one of her, let's just say I wanted to order monkey bread in a bigger size and her chunks, then I could just do that. Um, so yeah, she offers different sizes and I just love everything. And you know, turnaround time is pretty fast and I just, I can't say enough good things. So I just wanted to um, tell you guys that have a great day. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like at a loss for words right now. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a good weekend. It's Friday and I will see you guys in my next video. Um, I have two more videos to film, so I will do be doing those sometime soon. Maybe today, I don't know, I have to leave, but maybe when I come back, I don't know, we'll see, but 
nonetheless, I will see you guys later and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.